Here's MidMax again, today with a short video on a viewer's request. Last week I showed you the new Astrolux S43S in the new copper version. I demonstrated using a high drain cell like the Samsung 30Qs that the thing is capable of sucking about 15 amps out of the cell and converting into lots of light, lots of heat too, but we liked it, don't we? And this is great. But this uh, flashlight comes in standard and it is really nice with a short tube for those 18350s, which are compared half the size of an 18650. And the smaller cells um, don't, uh, don't have as much power as the big ones. So this viewer asked me how much current can be drawn out of those cells. And I didn't just want to post some numbers, uh, but I wanted to make something maybe someone feels a little bit educated or can know that. Um, let's look a little bit into basics. If you are familiar with that, just skip it. Uh, in the LEDs, we have a circuit, there is a plus and a minus. And if you use a battery with the correct voltage and close the circuit, there's light. Uh, it was all the uh, old flashlights has that. You have a switch, you have maybe you turn something, uh, a slider switch, you close the circuit, current is going around and uh, current is converted into light. And that's what we call dry, direct drive. Um, and you can imagine the less resistance is there in this circuit, the more power is left for the current to drive the light instead of overcoming resistances. So one thing Astrolux does for us is having those double springs in there a few months or years ago. We all, all models soldered some braid in there, or had additional wires to lower the resistance to get more power to the LED than being lost here. And a good trick is a nice hint, whoopsie, if you uh, open your flashlights, if you uh, interchange tubes, whatever, uh, use some grease remover or alcohol and a, uh, a towel or something like that. Clean the, the, the contact parts. If there is grease left, if there is oxidation, if you see black spots, try to rub it off. Also on the contact contacts here, clean it. If the current is, uh, loses power by these resistances, it's less bright. It's easy as that. So keep that in mind. Keep your things clean and they will be bright. And now have a look on how some different cells do perform. Okay, here we are. First of all, you all know DMMs like that, like this ones. They are great for testing or measuring the voltages on your cells to be, see if the 4.1 or 4.15 or 3.0, something like that, they're good for that. But these long thin wires, they really add a lot of resistance to your measuring circuit when you try to measure current and you will fail, period. So forget these and speaking on current numbers. They will limit the output of any flashlight. You can, if you have um, a cheap multimeter like this, where you can plug in, buy some banana plugs, buy some 12 AVG wires, and then you can measure with that quite nice too. Or get one of these cl clamp meters. This, this is 30 US dollars, comes with uh, wires to measure voltage and some other things and the resistance you can measure. But it's a clamp meter. It's very nice to measure currents with that. And always use thick wires. I have here my 12 AVGs. I found out having it half shorter will give 1% higher numbers and 
I just have the, the long wire because I like the better handling. So and when you measure some currents, always have have a test, be sure your cells are four. I always say if it's above 4.1 volts for 15 then it's then it's okay if they are below 4 volts 3.9 I would not uh, expect such a half depleted cell to give full power on any flashlight good let's try that uh, I use the short tube for a, a more safe uh, measurement cleaned it before <laughs> um, let's try it first this night course cell uh, which many of you will have so let's play a bit so I hope you can can see the numbers yeah okay go to DC hit the zero and now when you when you touch the negative pole and have so sorry one wire goes to the negative the other one goes to the to the tube to the uh, clean part then you see there have been some uh, 10 milliamp uh, 1 milliamp which indicates there is some uh, standby the light is glowing whatever then switching on can hardly see any current ramping up to those four amps and double click gives turbo which is about eight amps and eight amp is quite nice on this night core cells then we have a key power emrs same procedure ramping up to high it's only 4.4 and high double click eight and a half amp on turbo then we have this Aspire the 1300 milliamps high capacity and also high discharge they rate 15 amps so let's try that sorry ramp all the way up 4.6 and on turbo it gives 9.998 whoopsie whoops you see that I'm smoking yeah that's burnt <clears throat> nothing damaged here I'll take one for science so you see that light is hot <laughs> be be careful be careful not to shorten things like that because there's a lot of power involved and the last cell I didn't show you the Shockley they also rate 10 continuous 15 in a um, for a short time for pulsing they can so connect again and try to lift it a little bit more in the you can see that yeah ramping up oh five and a half and 12 I have seen 12 and lowest to 11 uh, so these shockleys are very powerful um, the flashlight is getting warmer which also lowers a little bit the possibility uh, for high current and just for the fun you know this um, 16 340s the small ones like the R RCR so you see a difference using an adapter so it doesn't wobble around in there a very common Olight with all the S1 minis and S10s and whatever they are they're 
very common out there in the field. Let's look what small things like that are capable of. So, switching on. Going on high, 1.7, 1.6. Turbo gives 2.5 amp in turbo. So that's for sure that chemistry is not meant to be high discharge, oh, high drain device. They want it to be high drain, so okay. Not really. Then there I have a keep power, a protected keep power. Whoopsie, try that. Having ramping up all the way. Three amps. And in turbo you have seen the flash. Uh, I think I tripped. <laughs> I trip the safety circuit, just wait a second or two so it can reset. Yeah, safety circuit trips. Uh, does not work. And there is, I also got a Shockley 16340. Try that as last, last contestant. So going all the way up 3.7 amps and on turbo it 7 amps which is quite nice for such a small cell so one thing remember this Shockley brand they are very good for the price in my opinion um, yeah hope you have found something you can use hopefully something new if you like the video and you are not a subscriber down there there is a subscribe button use that thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye